All right, hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the ESL1 Cologne qualifiers. My name is Kyanite, and alongside me is Hoss. How are you doing? Assuming you're alive. Hoss, are you with us? Hoss. I am here. Oh, Mike was here. Hallelujah. Muted. Hello. Yeah, Yo. I'm good. I'm looking forward to see Titan play. Nice. Are you a Titan fanboy then? Not really, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of any team except for maybe Fnatic, but that goes back to like right season then. one of League of Legends, but yeah. Alright then, you like Fnatic. What do you think of the new Fnatic changes? I haven't been following Fnatic CSGO recently. Oh, I caught you out there, didn't I? Oh. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, I was expecting better from you, Hoss. I really was. But yeah, guys, um, my name is Kai Knight. Uh, alongside me is Hoss. We cast for ESL UK. Uh, that probably explains why we're casting the ESL 1 qualifiers in the language in which they speak in the UK, which the last time I checked was English. But here we go. It's Death Energy. Who? I'm not. They're German. That's it. They're German. Uh, so we German. got Germans against Frenchies. Let's see who's going to win this one. Uh, the Tech 9 has been banned. So we're not going to see such a whitewash from Titan, a bit like what we saw from Malsports on the uh, Tech 9 wielding T side on Dealers 2. But here we go, Death Energy Johnny pushing B, but hello, Titan coming straight out in towards this large array bombsite. I almost forgot what the bombsite was called thanks to Volvo and no radar. But you know what, Death Energy are holding themselves, they've got a one-man lead here. Sleepy with a hat-trick so far, and well, Sleepy is bloody woken up after all those terrorists ran into the bombsite. It's existence and Kenny S left standing for the team from France. Kenny S gets the return frag, leaving it at two versus two, and existence is only on six HP. And down he goes, it's two versus one. Can Kenny S, the orc maestro, save the day? He can't, and well, 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 Death Energy are gonna win our first round. Big start there for the German side. I mean, I, th I think I speak for everyone here when I say that Titan are most likely going to win this. Mm. But right off the gate, Death Energy starting strong, winning the pistol round on CT side of Mirage. They're going to be buying some Famases up. Rifles and Kenny S there. Whoops. Oh, I'm going to guess there's something wrong with the server here. Well, Death Think Energy seem more than happy to carry on playing <laughs> Titan just having fun in spawn. Yeah, Titan just throwing their guns around. Uh, yeah, they're moving now. Existence go Existence and Scream going for a surprise by here with the AK and the Galileo. Johnny's gonna get dropped by Existence's AK. He wasn't expecting that one. Kenny has gonna be going up into apartments here. Gonna be showing off the TV on his way. He obviously didn't like what was on. Gonna be picking up the bomb. <laughs> and hovering around apartments and underpass. Moves into apartments. Smiths is on the site. Hills get dropped by Jensen, who was on the site. Right in the open, too. Existence will spot Jensen's head, but won't be able to make anything of it. And uh, Until he takes 80 damage. Then gets the kill. MBK coming in with the CZ. Three onto three, man. The CZ obviously won't be seen as much now, but... Maybe it might in this uh, game, as you said, the Tech 9 is banned. It's down to Sleepy and Damon left. Titan do all have guns. An AK, an M4 silence, and an FAMAS on MBK. Kenya spots Damien. Sleepy will drop as well as Damon. That's going to be 1 1. The surprise buy coming in big there for Titan. Yeah, brilliant from Titan, and uh, I, you can see what they were trying to do. They knew exactly what they were doing when they went towards a B bomb site. They knew that if they could go towards house, that the chances that the CTs would have one, more than one player there would be very slim. And they caught him out, they got the kill, and they managed to pick up his M4, which left three of the Titan players with rifles in hand. But here we go, Kenny S going, oh, well, a lot of people say Kenny S can't rifle and all he can do is snipe, but I think that superb shot shut up the haters. Johnny's been uh, tagged down to 24 HP and Titan look good. They look very good but the CTs, they've pushed a ramp. They've noticed no one's there or have they because MBK is still lurking around that area. So alright then. Let's see what Titan have to offer us here. They've smoked mid, they've smoked short and they've smoked a connector. Most of them heading towards B. Smith has spotted the head of Johnny who uh, he dealt a lot of damage too early on. He knows he's gone to 
towards Forrest and he'll definitely realise that three man shooting at him in Kitchen. There's their chop from Smith's Titan. Um, existence, sorry, getting on the score sheet. Scream, doing what Scream does best by getting a, hot, a headshot out of the blue. Dear me, Hoss, we both, we, we, we've both forgotten how to speak today. <laughs> and, uh, and two on Titan. And the CTs, they still can't afford to buy. Yeah, it was a very clean anti eco there from the French team of Titan. The professionals, the experienced players, and I think they were one of the only big teams that didn't get a direct invite to ESL 1, so they're going to have to make their way through the qualifiers. They won their first round match 16-1, and they're looking to win another one here. Kenny has opening things up with a headshot onto Jensen as he then makes his way alongside Scream on short as they both pick up three man. Now it's 5v3. Sleepy down to 4 HP. MBK jumps into the site, getting the kill, and it's 71 HP combined. Well, now down to 67 off. Sleepy gets taken down. Damon down in mid. And there we go. The CTs of Death Energy should be able to buy now. Yep. Orbs coming out as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how they set up this one up. And now we know that Johnny was playing the B bomb site before. And I don't know about you. Do you have a radar on your radar? Nope. No, I find myself pressing control a lot. Yeah, yeah, same. I just feel lost without being able to look at the radar for some reason. It's really awkward. But let's see where Johnny's going to take the AWP. He's actually taking it towards mid. So he's all eyes on mid at the moment. But Kenny S, Existence, Smiths and Scream have wasted no time making their way towards the B bomb site. Auto Director's sticking with Scream, which makes me think he's going to work a bit of his headshot magic here at mid. He's, uh... Could he pick Johnny? Johnny is zoomed in. On mid, it's very slow from Titan so far. They haven't given too much away. Most of them have actually gone on the ground. Good, good use of sound from Freeman. Smiths gets a shot through the smoke onto the head of Jensen, and our Titan going to commit now to the B bomb site. Four versus four, and is that going to change sometime soon? It is. Freeman gets his second kill of the round, and it's Freeman's antics. Our oh, Freeman's antics, sorry, going to be uh, the turning point that Death Energy need to get themselves back into this game. It's three versus two. Titan MBK on very, very low HP. Be. Only 18 HP with a Farmass in hand as well. So Death Energy have more than enough time and more than enough quality to turn this round in their favour. Here we go. Sleepy, who had a superb pistol round, is going to spot Scream. <laughs> Scream, he shouldn't have gone in by himself like that. He's lost the bomb now. Good shot oh. from Sleepy through the wall. And Existence, the Titan leader, is left all by himself. Johnny misses the orb shot, but now they know exactly where he is. And you know what, Hoss? By the looks of things, Death Energy... Well, Titan have a game on their hands because Death Energy are doing well. Yeah. Titan have been a little bit streaky, some would say, in recent performances. And Death Energy are certainly going to give them a run for the money now. After they've won two rounds, if they win this one, then Titan are on an eco. And I think the key to that last round was uh, Kenny S was the first one to drop and lost the AWP for his team. So we'll see how this round plays out, whether he'll go down as quickly as before. Abs get smoked off, so uh, Titan won't be able to go through there. Smith's down to two-thirds HP after the nade comes through. Johnny is sitting watching mid yet again here. MBK is still hovering around T-spawn. And if he can make noise at A, maybe force a rotate through. Scream moving towards top of mid now, drops the bomb behind. We'll soon find three man, and three man will get one. He won't be able to drop Scream though. Get Kenny S. They'll trade one for one. Now it's four versus four. Scream still at the top of the mid. Smoking window out yet again. Sending a flash in there too. Warning off any of the Germans. They'll move around into this window room. Gonna look and see if there's anything there. You can see just over the top of smoke, but won't see anything too dangerous for him right now. Sleepy getting kills elsewhere down onto MBK. And it's just the three members of Titan left. Now only one after Smiths and Scream get dropped, respectively, there. And it's all down to Existence. He'll get spotted out. Damon will find him. Existence will get the headshot, however. He's down to 78 HP. It's nothing too, well, critical for him. But there is only eight seconds left. So he's just going to opt to save this AK. He won't be able to get anything more. Maybe an exit frag at the end of the round. Try and damage the economy, but... 3-3 now, it's all square as we move into the 7th round. 
Yeah, not too shabby from Death Energy at all. And because they've won these two consecutive rounds, they're slowly starting to build uh, a nice amount of cash in the bank. We, it's, it's not rare to see CTs go for the two sniper setup. We saw Svetica actually do it yesterday in the uh, Steel Series UK ESL Community Challenge here on Mirage, where I do believe they won as counter terrorists. They had one AWP and uh, one auto sniper, but uh, the Germans in this case opting to just stick with one AWP, which, uh, to be fully honest, is probably the approach I prefer. But here we go. Good old MBK's made his way towards Zap Smith is going to get first, but on to Damon. Scream does what Scream does best by landing the headshot onto Jensen, and it's back and forth here. Sleepy gets a headshot before Kenny S nails him in the head, leaving it four versus two. And this is a bit too close for comfort for Death Energy, because if three man goes down, I can honestly see Johnny just thinking, right, I'm just going to try and save my AWP. But la 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 la, look who it is. It's Johnny in CT spawn. And at three versus two, it looks doable for the Germans. And let's see whether they can do it. Johnny's going to slowly make his way up a ramp. He... Uh, has a funny feeling that someone might be in apps. He's managed to smoke MBK out, leaving it now on the two versus two on top of this A bomb site. But they need to get a move on. Titan are smart. Titan are experienced. Titan aren't going to peak. But three man has superb aim. Three man gets one. MBK's trying to protect the bomb with his leader to his right hand side. And well, Titan just about managed to win the round. And uh, leaves them in the lead with uh, four rounds to three. Yep, and it looks like Death Energy, even after winning those rounds, they're going to have to force... No, they're not even going to force this by. They're down to an eco here. Because two of their members are on less than $2,000 here, so... Gonna be pistol... Well, full CZs even after Tech 9. There's been a gentleman's agreement. It's going to be CZs all round versus AKs and the single AWP of Kenny S. That wow. nade coming in, though, from Smiths. Pack it up, three man, there we go with the second one from Kenny S, and here's Jensen, he'll drop Smiths. Four versus four, they traded one for one, two more members in apps, Jensen can hear this, Kenny S drops down, he's behind Van, existence will soon follow. Yes, throws the smoke out and we'll get a kill onto Jensen with the AK, Johnny at long range with the CZ, of course, the long range CZ damage has been nerfed in the patch that hit last night. So it won't be as effective, and there we go, MBK gets one, Scream gets another. It's all down to Sleepy. At the back of this B site towards Kitchen, with CZ in hand. Guys, no one spotted him yet. Titan aren't fully committing to this B site yet, Scream in existence, show! Sleepy will get one, but Scream will put an end to any further kills for him. It was an okay eco, I guess, they got two members. A little dent to the economy, but it means they're going to have to eco again here because two members are below 4k again. Yep. Uh, Unless they force gonna... it, they're forcing it. Yeah, they are going to force it. Obviously, by forcing it, what they do is they opt to buy only armor. Um, so we've got Sleepy, Johnny, Jensen and Three Man. In fact, four of the five CTs without a helmet. They've got only an armor because they know up against the AK of the terrorists, the helmets don't stand a chance anyways. Scream gets the wall bang onto Johnny. And well, that's exactly what the doctor ordered for the team from France. Obviously, it's France versus Germany. And we all know how fierce the fa France versus Germany rivalry is in football. And the same applies here in Counter-Strike. They've got a two-man lead here on the T side of Mirage. It's the ninth round. Smiths will get the shot onto Jensen, nailing him in the head. And they're going to slowly creep into this B-bomb site and say thank you very much or merci very much in their case. Get the bomb down. And win the round. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I was just thinking to myself there, is Three Man going to be able to do it? But uh, fortunately, only getting a kill. So he's called Three Man, but he hasn't got him any Three Man so far. Bad on 6 3. <laughs> yeah, Titan taking that round pretty comfortably. Four of them survived. Their economy is looking very strong here. Kenny S still on 8.6k with AWP in hand. It's uh, another eco here for the Germans. Can he peek in mid with the AWP? Not going to find anything. As Death Energy have moved elsewhere. Smith will get dropped as he tries to go aggressive down into underpass. But Johnny was that more aggressive. Got the kill. Yes, and Scream pushing down onto short. Can we peek in towards the side? Not going to find anything. 
Johnny's pushed through apps, not found anything, so he knows that's clear, but MBK on this A site. There are three CTs here. Johnny has the AK in hand, so he can rotate. Dream is going to enter the B site, and we'll get one, but Kenny has gets another elsewhere. MBK with a headshot as well. It seems like it's headshots galore right now. Three in a row for Titan. Will it be a fourth here from Scream? Yes, it will. Through the wall. Can he make it a fifth for his team? Yep, there we go. Fifth headshot for the team. He got three kills. Kenny S with one, and then MBK to finish things off, taking it 7-3, and Death Energy can buy once again. Yeah, they can, and the thing about Death Energy is, in my opinion, coming into this game, they were always the underdogs, and they, they were never going to stand a chance on winning. Well, it's been oh, yeah. very difficult for them to, to, to stand a chance on winning eco rounds up against Titan, especially after the CZs have been nerfed down. But hello! The Titan eating loads of nades to the faces. Smith somehow managed to get, to get two kills. Scream is in out. Scream, I think we'll drop Johnny. Yes, he does. And it's three versus two. Four versus two, sorry. And Death Energy, despite having some superb nades going down towards A-Ramp early on in the round, they failed to capitalise on him. But look who it is, it's three man who managed to get a headshot onto the planting existence and Kenny S manages to blow him up and it, honestly speaking, bar the pistol round, bar the, uh, uh, not the pistol round, sorry, bar that, s yeah, bar the pistol round where yeah. death energy looked really good, they haven't really impressed me and Titan, I, I do think this might, might start to get very one side for Titan because death energy, they save up on the more expensive CT side and they just can't afford to lose a round. They lose the round and they find themselves ecoing again and after the nerf of the pistols with the Tech 9 band, they don't really stand a chance. Yeah, it's... Yes, yeah, so they've been forced on Steagles here and as you said, they keep losing their gun rounds which just dents their economy that bit more. We see Smith's entering this A side, just poking his head up, seeing if he can find anything. He'll get one onto Sleepy, but as you said, this will start to spiral out of control for the Germans rather quickly as well, I reckon, because Mirage is that CT-sided map, or at least slightly CT-sided, and when Titan will get on it, they'll look even more dangerous than they are now. And this round's all down to Jensen. He'll get one for his troubles, but he's now 1v3. Existence knows where he is. They're going to drop down surely and finish him off. Existence, Smith, please! You took your time there. 9-3. You, you see, the thing is, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of Death Energy, and they must be absolutely baffled at the moment, because Death Energy aren't really actually doing anything wrong. Titan are just... Each one of those Titan players is just twice the player that dare I say it, that each of the Death Energy player is. And I don't want to sound biased, but that's based completely on what we've seen so far. Every time Titan narrow it down to a one versus one battle somewhere on the map, be it one versus one battle between Scream or Smiths pushing up a ramp and spotting a CT, and there we go, there's the one versus one battles that I'm talking about. Kenny S versus Jensen at mid, where's Johnny with the AWPs? Nowhere to be seen. And Death Energy, they've thrown away a player, well, make that two players, so cheaply and so early in the round. And if Death Energy keep doing this, they're not going to stand a chance. If they don't get 10-5, then I think they'll be in trouble. But here we go. MBK is playing the get right role. He's uh, like a bit of a ninja making his way around the back of the A bomb site. And even though Sleepy had the positional advantage on MBK, he still, for some reason, couldn't get the kill. And now Damon, poor old Damon, is all by himself. He's at the top of mid. I don't really fancy him to get this one, Hoss. Four versus one. And it's going back to the same old story as to what I was talking about at the start of the round. Yep. This game isn't coming down to the tactical battles. It isn't coming down to Existence's, you know, world-famous uh, tactical sense, or he's coming up with unbelievable strats that he used to be famous for, which used to unlock CT defenses as, as terrorists. No, it's coming down to Titan just being that little bit individually greater than their yeah. opposing team, and that's winning them the battles, and that's why they've got a very healthy seven-round lead here on what is supposed to be a CT-sided map. Yeah, it's the same story once again. They got a Death Energy got the guns, but they couldn't really do anything with it. The individual skill of Titan came through a lot stronger than maybe even the teamwork of Death Energy. But it seems like Titan aren't really running too many specific strats, so it is just how good they are at this game that's getting them through this round. 
and three right now to the French team. MBK is going to come around this corner. Will he be surprised? Yes, he will. Sleepy gets the headshot and will fall back away towards the A side into a more defensive position. This is what we want to see from Death Energy. They got the early frag. Now they need to make the numbers game count. They're a man up. How long it will be for and whether they can hold this will be the vital component for their round here. As Scream makes his way towards window room, still not found anything just yet. Sleepy's on this A side, but we know that it's going to be this B side after Smith gets one onto Johnny. And now it's four versus four. Existence is sat at the bottom of mid here. Seeing if anyone rotates. Three man getting a kill on Scream elsewhere. Here, Kenny S evening things up. Ooh. Existence will get one as Jensen drops out of window. And now it's all in the favor of Titan yet again. Damon will get one. Kenny S is planting. The bomb goes down. Sleepy turn around. Just walked straight past Kenny S and now they know where he is. There's one short, one van existence on short. We'll get Sleepy. And Kenny S will finish things off. Taking it to 11-3 and going into the last round of this half. With a force buy for the CTs, this really isn't looking good for them. Again, I don't want to sound harsh. I really don't. I thought Death Energy did superbly to narrow it down to the two versus two. But Sleepy, I think it was. You said Sleepy. I think it might have been Sleepy where... The bomb was planted, Kenny S was inside the smoke, and the CT on top of the bomb site where the bomb was planted, he just decided, right, I'm just going to completely ignore it. So I, it didn't even occur to him that Kenny S was just millimetres to his left. But here we go, Scream the headshot machine does it again with a headshot onto Damon. And how many more of these headshots have he got lined up? There's the second from Scream. But hello, Jensen with the FAMAS coming up from underground, getting himself two tasty kills. It's three versus two. Smith gets the return. Return frag on to Jensen and is Sleepy going to get a return frag of his own? And there we go, the one versus one battles that I'm talking about. It's two versus one now. Scream is on low HP, Johnny's on 100 HP, he's got armor and he's got an AK. So there's no reason whatsoever as to why he won't be able to pull this one out of the bag. He knows that Titan are going to be going to the A bomb site. That's why he's rotating there through CT, through T spawn, sorry. And you know what? Scream is looking at the plant. But Yenge, is Johnny making a bit of noise? Scream has heard him, maybe. Wow! Well, that shot just sums <coughs> up Scream. It, it really does. He's a phenomenal yeah. player. He's, 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 he, I just love watching him. He's, he's brilliant. Yeah, just Titan as a whole. They work so well together. And then they have their individual moments, like Kenny S, he'll have those wonderful plays with the AWP. And as you said, Scream just bringing out moments of pure class. It's like and it all just Scream works Kenny together. S. Kenny S huh? is both Scream and Kenny S. Ke Scream, he just pulls off the 1 AKs. Yeah. They used to do it in Source as well. It's like, how on earth can you, do, you, do you do that? And even Kenny S in Source and older iterations of the game, including in CSGO, some of his AWP shots just really, really make you start to scratch your head. <laughs> yep. So we'll see if Death Energy can come out as strong as they did in the first half after winning the pistol round. And it's gonna be an A rush here. Wow. Two of them going down straight away. That's Sleepy and Damon. Scream gets tagged off. The third goes down from the frag of frag grenade, sorry, of Kenny S. Scream getting the fourth of the round and there we go. A clean sweep there for Titan. Not one of them will fall. And right now you're looking at more or less match point well it'll be 14-3 at least and unless death energy get the bomb down you're looking at 15-3 and then match point it's all down to that one round I like what you did there Titan not one of them fall Titan fall I knew what you were doing I knew never played it doing. never played it nor have I but I knew what you were doing <laughs> Don't pretend you weren't doing it. But anyways, here we go. The Germans rushing straight into the B-bomb site where they'll have both MBK and Smith greeting them. MBK has the swag seven. MBK gets one. He'll get two. Oh, before going down to Johnny CZ. And well, Smith has a swag seven as well. And he's going to get an easy kill. 14-3. And there we go, Hoss. Titan, they won the pistol round. They won the second round. And because Death Energy didn't plant the bomb on either the first or second round, they're going to have to force this buy. And my word, it doesn't look like a healthy buy at all. <laughs> it is a serious force buy here. Sleepy only having a CZ. He could buy an AK if he wanted, but instead... Yeah, he's sitting on 2.9k. Buy an AK, but instead he's just going to sit on the CZ. They've got a few nades spread between them. Two Galils and two AKs. It's okay, it's not as bad as maybe first thought. But Scream's opening things up with a really aggressive push 
alongside his teammate down through apps, and we'll get rewarded by the frag onto Jensen. I'm going to be smoking up these T steps. So the advance is on A. Going to be stopped straight away. Flashes towards mid from Kenny S. Well into a window, and it's a 5 versus 4 for the French. MBK is going to get dropped as he pushes out of short. And Kenny S there, unfortunate. But he's down to 1 HP. We'll get the headshot onto Johnny. If he comes out the window, though, either Damon or, f or Three Man would have had him. But it was Damon that got there first. Now it's 3 versus 3. Right now, this force bite isn't looking too bad. Smiths is stuck on the Mag 7. Scream gets one onto Three Man. It's a CZ and an AK. Versus an M4, a FAMAS, and I was going to say Mag 7, but he picks up an M4, Smiths, that it is, and gets the quick kill onto Damon, and now it's all down to Sleepy. He's one versus three. Scream will finish things off, and now it's match point on what will be a very tight eco here. You're looking at shotguns all round. And the thing is, I've noticed something from Death Energy. Dare I say it, I think the... We saw the Mouse Sports game, well we casted the Mouse Sports game prior to this game. We saw how Mouse Sports were playing with the Tech Nines and Mouse Sports. They changed their tactics around, they spent more time in T Spawn, they were they were abusing the new DDoS 2 double doors. For Death Energy, we saw them on the CT side, the players who were holding B were spraying through the wallbang spot, which doesn't exist anymore after the update as far as I was told. And we, we saw Sleepy opt to go for the CZ75. Now I think the reason as to, where, as to why he may have gone for the CZ75 75 is so that he could buy for the rest of his teammates, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, but the thing is, and this emphasised how much the update was needed, in, in, before the update you could probably get away with using a CZ instead of an AK, and when you yeah. compare both weapons you think to yourself, Oh wait, hold on a second. You really shouldn't be you shouldn't, shouldn't be trading out an AK for a, for a pistol. But that's sort of like what Sleepy was trying to do, I think. And I'm sorry, after this update, you can't do it again. And maybe, just maybe, Death Energy haven't done their homework on the new game that we've got now in CS:GO. But here we go, Scream. We don't see him open very often, and that's probably why missed an easy shot. But Threeman and Johnny, they 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 want to hold on to this game. But uh, Threeman's last man standing. He's running back towards jungle. What is Auto Director doing? Here we go. He's going to pick up a FAMAS, and he's going to get disposed of with ease. Well, Hoss, we we had an eight, uh, we had a 16-4, sorry, which was the Mouse Sports game early on, and I was yep. honestly hoping that we'd get a a slightly more even game, and I thought we would. Uh, there, there was points where I was saying that Death Energy were going to give Titan a run for their money after they won the pistol round, and but but, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be. In in a way, I'm I'm disappointed. Well, I mean, what do you make of the game? Yeah, when it was three, well, when it was three three, you really thought that Death Energy could maybe cause a little bit of an upset, maybe take it to seven eight rounds for them. Mm. But as the game went on, Titan just got into their stride and. I think Death Energy just might have crumbled slightly under all the pressure that they were under and only got three rounds and they were the three rounds they got in the first half.